All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Red Dragon and welcome back to the Israeli campaign. Now, very quick disclaimer, I don't think everybody understood when I said it was a custom campaign. This is not made by you, this is made by someone on the forums who tried editing as much as possible. For example, the Syrian flag, the infantry, some of the names of the enemy units. Um... This is not made by Yujin, it's custom made, that's why the South Korea, North Korea, Sea of Japan still exists here, because it is, as far as I'm aware, nigh impossible to change some of these things. It's not made by Yujin, made by a very enthusiastic person on the Yujin forums, and as far as I know, this is honestly, you cannot make your own campaign map, and if you can, it is absolutely ridiculously hard, because I've not seen anyone manage to do so. I saw some of you guys mention to check out the uh, Ash and Shadows mod for a future video, and I definitely will look into that. If you do have any other campaign ideas or campaign missions or other mods you think are really cool for Red Dragon, please let me know. Do not link them because YouTube will block those out, but just let me know in the comment section their names, and I'll definitely go check them out. That being said, first episode will be linked in the description. Today's episode, we're going to have to fight off here in Tiberias first. And then, in the next turn, we'll get to invade uh, from the Mediterranean Sea into uh, Syrian-held territory here. Now, this battle in Tiberias is going to be relatively brutal if you consider their strike squadron here with 60 airplanes, and I have 15. Though mine are obviously of a higher quality, at some point, quality versus quantity is going to be skewed towards quality or quantity if the quantity is a lot higher. The tank-wise, as you can see, this unit has 172 tanks, including 84 T-62s, which is just a lot of ammo I have to waste to kill these guys. And they do also come with quite a bit of anti-air. Hopefully we can hold them back here as we continue our fight to try and save Israel. And I have to say, I'm not really pro or, or against Israel, but the people in the comment section who are very much arguing over a video game, this is to you, you're fucking idiots. Seriously? If anything, you got, you've given me so much enjoyment out of all your stupid comments talking about Israel or talking about it in negatively or a good way. Um, just seriously think to yourself what you're doing. You're having stupid arguments over things that don't really matter. This is a fictional game in a fictional campaign. And if anything, it's just really funny to me how heated you guys can get about it in a comment section. So please keep it up. You're giving me some extra laughs, and uh, I'm sure that I'm not the only person that's having a great, great time reading y'all's comments uh, in the comment section. With that being said, we only really have here to rely on is our tanks. We only have 12 Merkavas, and we have some tow missile launching systems. I'm not even sure how good these are going to do. Uh, we just have to deal with mainly their anti-aircraft first when we've dealt with those, and they have 12, and that's not even counting the Strelas, but they have 12 um, radar-guided anti-aircraft systems. We're going to have to basically bomb them into obliteration using our uh, clusters, because we can definitely not hold their tanks back with, well, just our tanks, because there is a lot more of them. So we'll actually grab a extra CV... Um, I don't even know if we want to have two Nazareth. It's not really going to be something I can hold, realistically speaking. But honestly, at this point, let's just keep this thing in here and hope that it survives just long enough for us to um, maybe call in some reinforcements from there. Is there any recon we can set up? I don't know. Oh, there's actually a recon we can get right here. All right, with that being said, I think we're good to go. So let's uh, let's have it going, boys. And let's immediately get some Ayits to basically fly one at a time. Um... Our job, like I said, will be to basically get them uh, to take out their anti-air and then heavily, heavily get away. I definitely do not want to at all dive really deep into their units. We just took two of them down. That's a miss. Turn around. So we took two of their uh, radar-guided AA down. Turn around and hopefully we can take some more of them down. Oh, we have to push this into the tree line right here. And, uh, get out, get out, and... Okay, we took three of them down, four of them down, which means we, do, we took out one-third of their uh, anti-aircraft strength. Now, we can see these T-62s coming in here, which they're going to absolutely probably destroy us. So let's get some of these nets 
to try and intercept them on the way to uh, Nazareth, as that'll be a, a kind of a scary flank, as we uh, didn't really take out anything there points-wise. Probably should have... Oh, we took two of them down. That's not going to save our lives, though. Now we have to set up the fences on this side. We have no infantry to speak of whatsoever. Uh, we have AA infantry, which isn't really going to do much for us against these tanks. So we have to realistically just rely on our Nexus to do the job. I don't even know if this can penetrate any of this. It's going to have to open fire now because it's going to get spotted here in just a second. And that wasn't even the target I wanted you to hit. So that really sucks. Hopefully we can hit the road and uh, stop them from doing a lot of damage. They are just rolling down the road at us in the middle, so we need our Ayeats to quickly replenish their uh, missiles. Can we get some of these T-62s? Uh, one of them is down, but our Picud is definitely not going to live very much longer. We could, however, send our Shermans up here to try and just hold the line with cheap stuff. But again, no real promises right there. We just have to uh, hope that these Merkavas can hold the line. Merkavas... Or Mer is it Merkava or Merkava? I actually have it pronounced two two different ways, so I don't know if I uh, mispronounced it there. Oh, look at that. Look at this. They're in, coming into range. Their cheap-ass T-62s have nothing to say when it comes to um, comes to my, uh, my armor, at least at that range anyway. But these are obviously their cheaper tanks, and there's definitely going to be uh, some hard fights still to come here, trying to get rid of... Well, basically all of their tanks. I think they had just over a, a couple hundred, like 175, if I'm not mistaken. So it's gonna be it's gonna be brutal to try and get rid of all of those. We just lost our CV here. That's okay. It happens. We'll just have to push these guys in with uh, control or Q. They have some artillery coming in. That's fair. Uh, hope that it kind of stays alive here. Get our Ayeats to move in specifically and hit them with some missiles. That's another one down. That's, come on, another one down. Okay, so we took down, I believe, six now in total. Did I get a little bit of damage? We took down six of um, of their anti-aircraft weapon devices. Oh, that artillery is costing us a lot of time trying to hit these tanks back. They actually took down one of my tow rocket launchers, which are... Oh, crap, that just got destroyed. Wow, that's... It's still coming. Oh, Lord, it's still going absolutely ham on my units there, which is actually really annoying. Uh, that was definitely not supposed to happen. Try and get a Nets to drop some bombs in there as we get another... Oh, we do have 46 Rios left. Oh, this one's going to die if it doesn't get the hell out of there right now. Oh, that's too... Oh, it's dead. Yep, that really sucks. Okay, well, couldn't really do much about that. Our Sherman here is flanking these T-72s, but they aren't really doing much to them. I guess uh, the 76 mil, or the whole, actually it's 105 mil, might not be the most effective weapon, but these clusters will probably end their sorry-ass lives, so they're now uh, done for. We just have to uh, make sure we hold the line. That rocket artillery barrage was ridiculous. I don't think we have any tanks left. However, uh, vehicle-wise, we have a couple of cheap-ass Shermans to just throw onto the line here and hope that we can at least defend our area with, as we also get some uh, tow missiles to come over here and a recon helicopter to hold the left area of the map. Tanks here are doing just fine. We're resupplying our, uh, our tanks, and probably most of them actually should do need some repairs, it looks like. And hopefully we can get those repairs up before uh, the next wave comes in. We could definitely use some uh, Yeats to uh, deal with their uh, radar AA. I'm not really afraid of the Strazalas. Uh, they're actually relatively short range against planes, and they also aren't as uh, accurate as the uh, obviously the ATG or the uh, radar guided AA. So we'll just have to use the Yeats here um, and try and get rid of those. Oh, the nets just uh, kind of broke off. All right, there's at least one spotted. And that one should go out. There we go. That one's down. There's another one spotted. That one's down. That's sweet. I think we took down over half of their uh, anti-aircraft power right now, which is obviously very, very good. They are, however, just driving straight through here. Our Rio has to uh, hurry up and replenish and repair these tanks, but they're constantly engaging. All right, you suck. They're constantly engaging. Uh, ooh, that's a lot of Strela. Oh, this might... Nope, that Nets is also dead. This is uh, just sacrificing these planes for their greater good. 
our Rio is uh, burning out of stuff real quick here. We'll just have to get multiple Rios here to try and hold the line. Their cheap-ass tanks aren't really going to do much to us. It's going to uh, just mainly be the fact that they're taking time off of my Merkava to be able to shoot at other targets. They're costing them time uh, to, uh, you know, repair. Because right now, every time there's a target, they can't be replenished, which is the main issue. If we move this uh, Rio back here in a second, we hopefully can get some resupplies for those guys. And uh, we're just going to have to uh, hope that our Shermans, our cheap-ass Shermans, can do something to stop these T-62s. At least they'll help them panic, to help them get annoyed. Uh, we'll have to hit, hopefully, one of these units over here as we fly our Yeats on the flank. And we'll actually get access to a, a Baz, which I believe is an F-16. Ooh, that's a lot of missiles coming out. Hopefully that... Wow, really? I didn't think that... Oh, I guess that was stupid. I probably shouldn't have lost that for no reason. Okay, getting a little bit maybe over overconfident here. Spotted someone there, AA, back here in the spawn. Getting out after we did destroy three more. That means that this has to be their last sort of uh, working bastion of... Uh, anti-air on the side of the map the the radar guided anti-air that is which have to keep them off of our area as we are repairing our tanks up front repairing resupplying and actually they're doing a pretty awesome job so far i mean most of these tanks are fully repaired our merkava here actually turn off the ammo for all the weapons uh, to make sure it stays safe and uh we're gonna just have to keep an eye out on our flank so i'm pretty sure we would we are pretty okay here i'm not really sure where there's enemy cv came in in but recon let's get uh some more recon set up mostly i guess here on this bridge too just to be safe and our uh, one ayit that's left will just fly all the way around the map and then uh, fly north to try and hit migdal it would be really good if i could get uh this helicopter recon to fly over here with us and try and get eyes on their artillery and if we get destroy our artillery, they definitely won't be able to uh, hurt us as much in the uh, in the future. So our Yeet flying in, looking for any radar that's turned on. We got one target. Missile is away. That's a miss. Missile is away. That's a hit. Pretty much uh, confirmed that I believe that might be up to 12 of their uh, uh, Yeets that are down or their uh, AA that's down. But let's not get overconfident. Let's use our recon helicopter here to try and get some eyes on and maybe even have a nets fly around into their uh, spawn area uh, to try and get rid of their uh, anti-air or their anti-tank um, stuff, basically their, their artillery. There's this ton of stuff coming in here on the road, including more Strela. You can see that by the giant rocket tubes on top. Oh, and a CV right there. Might be worth getting two nets to bomb this entire area. There's one grad or two grads are in there and we got some more T-62s and a T-72 or two, which actually would be very good targets to hit. But let's hit this compound here or this, uh, oh, he didn't get his missiles off, but, or his uh, clusters off. Wow, those Strelas fire really fast. I did forget about that. I think pretty good hits. We definitely took out a lot of those tanks. And I think we just found a CV driving over here. Uh, if I, my helicopter could change altitude, we probably can get eyes on it again. Oh, I just flew away, damn it. Helicopter is actually in a pretty good spot. Taking down their points slowly but steadily. And uh, we're just going to spot their recon again here on the left side and get some easy points. In general, these guys should all be good. But definitely let's get some more Rios down this road to make sure they're all resupplied. Half the battle time is over. But we have definitely dealt a large amount of damage. And I don't think we've lost a lot of our own units uh, besides the planes. And the planes are obviously a big shame that we lost those. But the thing here, there's just so much uh, Syrian power coming towards us. So much Syrian onslaught of uh, tanks and uh, material. We're really going to have to step it up here. We want to actually, uh, well, win. Maybe not this entire campaign but definitely this battle we're gonna have to just keep bombing them into submission using our nets and yeah it'll probably cost us one or two uh more planes but in the end i think that's definitely worth if you see uh what damage that causes to their anti-air capabilities now we spotted their um 
CV. Let's try and get this to engage that in time. Missiles are right. I don't want to say missiles. They're obviously cluster bombs. Cluster is away. It's just a T-55. I think he just missed by an inch. That might actually hit him. Oh, never mind. One hit. The one cluster did do a lot of damage right there. Uh, we guys are resupplying our guys up front, which is obviously the most important part. And uh, we should be relatively uh, okay here for now. Pretty excited how this is going so far. Actually, I'm really excited. I'm thinking it's going to be a lot harder than it ended up being. We definitely don't have the manpower or vehicle power for that matter to uh, do any pushing ourselves. Obviously, they still have a lot of tanks coming in. They have a lot of Strelaz back here. Actually, at this point, it probably would be worth for me to maybe consider getting some artillery. Uh, let's see what we got. Any big boy. This is really accurate artillery or very long range artillery with uh, a lot of suppression. But this one obviously has bigger damage. So we'll get actually some uh, artillery pieces to come here. And we'll actually get, let's get a ton of stuff just to come in here so we can have a sort of a final stand. We need to definitely rocket this forest if they get too close to sort of suppress their units. Um, and also while we're at it, let's also just grab uh, two giant radar guided AA missiles in case they do come close um, to try and sort of suppress any air attacks they might or may not do. They do obviously have access to a large air tab. We saw that. They have 60 aircraft. Uh, we have uh, not very many left. And the Nets, I think, does have some short-range missiles. We're really going to have to rely on our uh, Bazes, who have mediocre air-to-air. -air. But here, luckily, with our car doms out, we can probably start heavily hitting at least their AA, uh, the units that we have eyes on, obviously, at this point. Let's move these back just an inch. They're not sucking off of the fob. They have oh, they only have eight rounds available to them. That's fine. We'll get uh, two Yasuors to come up here and uh, join them in um, supplying them basically with weaponry. So let's just start hitting this area right here. And uh, these, what are they? 203s. They're going to do a ton of damage if they're anywhere close to the uh, Strazala trucks that the enemy has sitting on the battlefield right there. There goes our anti-aircraft, radar guided, there should be another one coming in. Here comes our Yasuors, let's make sure to turn the off the fuel on these guys to make sure they're not wasting any uh, power on that. And then let's watch our car doms here fire in unison pretty much in just a second. Ah, uh, hoping to be a little bit more united than that. Still looks pretty damn cool. Shots are out. And uh, we're going to start doing tons of damage, look at that. Those 203s aren't anything to uh, make fun of. Target the other Strizales here, as we are now done probably engaging those targets over here. Our recon helicopter might even try and peek a little bit further ahead to try and see if we can find more targets for them. Oh, they are running into the forest line there. Actually, is that a... Oh, look at that. We got rocket artillery right back there. Let's target those first. We're trying to get eyes on. There's even more rocket artillery back here. Let's just hit those rocket artillery first, and then we'll get a, uh, we'll get into the actual. Uh... Actually, let's just hit this with the car dot with the Mar 240, as we deploy two helicopters here, and put this helicopter right there, just so it doesn't supply these guys accidentally. So this should actually do a lot of damage. I think the reload time on these guys is relatively slow. It's only two rounds a minute, so they fire two rounds and then they have to reload. Our grads are moving. They might have seen our artillery coming in or realized that I'm targeting their artillery. But in the end, uh, these Mars are going to do a ton of damage to the uh, to the Strazales that are... Oof! Oh, that was a direct hit. They are going to have to run away if they want to survive into that massive onslaught of... What is it? 72 rockets plus 144 rockets. So they're going to have to get the hell out of Dodge if they don't want to just get absolutely blasted uh, by our units there. These yes swords are definitely uh, out of uh, going out of ammo really fast, which was to be expected. I think we took down another set of grads with those ones. So now let's switch to the other uh, the four car doms, and uh, these grads are just standing still right here. Let's try and target those this time. Look at this, which just basically turns into a nuclear fest. It's an actual nuclear circular cloud that's just formed here. 
and uh, these guys are all shaken and having a hard time trying to probably do much back to us. Actually, it probably would not be a bad idea. We just sent two Ram AT to try and deal with these Trezalas. As we are now reaching the last four minutes of this battle, uh, dealing, trying to deal with their grads as they are standing still. Missile or missile? No, it's not missile. It's a giant. There's two or three. That was insane. Instantly snipe those. Here comes another uh, round in for the grads on the road. Good hit. Tank is shaken and uh, heavily getting damaged by those uh, impacts. Needs one more impact and it's probably going to go bye-bye if it stays there in the area. It might just drive off just in time. More rounds incoming. Direct hit almost on this tank that is now down to just one bar of health. And, uh, oh, T-72 just showed up behind us, Sherman. This is really bad. This is a really, really bad time for this Sherman. He's not going to get a shot off, is he? Oh, he might get a shot off. Do a little bit of damage. Not really worth anything. Uh, these Ram ATs. Look at this field. We just created a nuclear back, like, nuclear black, like, area on the map, which is just brutal. Let's see if we can just run down this road on the uh, fire at the, fire on the move. We just took down one of those Trezalas. And uh, they are, uh, they better be running scared because these things are fast. They're 150 kilometers an hour on road and 95 off. -road. Actually, these Trezalas are faster off road. So we're going to have to stay on the road to try and catch up with them as we are going into the last two minutes here. Uh, let's fire these uh, napalm rockets in there, trying to get a little bit more damage in as we are now also trying to look for their last grads. We can't really see any of those, so we'll have to uh, just use. A Ram AT to try and get around. Come on, boys, let's go. Oh, we hear grads firing. Which obviously means we're gonna have to retaliate. Hopefully they don't retaliate on my artillery. Let's get our helicopters in the air before... Okay, they're not necessarily retaliating against my uh, artillery. We are just hitting them with napalm here to try and shake them up and stir them up and try to keep them from actively hitting us back. Our... Um, our car doms will hopefully get the shots off on those grats and try and take them out before the next fight. As enemies are down to 359 points before being uh, totally obliterated. I'm sorry, obliterated. Obliterated here uh, in this battle. Our car dom rounds are coming out. We are right behind a Strazala. That one's down. That's awesome. Let's keep moving up into this territory here as our rounds are about to land near the target area. We took down one grad. Just one grad this time. Uh, not really sure where those extra rockets came from. Our ER sewers are getting injured or stunned by the uh, rockets coming in, but that's fine. If we can just find that one CV before the battle is over, that would be fantastic. Got a couple of more rounds landing where the grad was firing from. No hits, but it does look very, very good. Now, this tank, the CV, has to be really scared. Uh, it is trying to move away from our uh, Ram ATs. We do have um, we do have our cluster bombers ready whenever we need them. I really would love to find their CV. Oh, there's something. Oh, I just got totally destroyed by the. Oh lord, I didn't realize I had that many Strazalas left there. Still, that really sucks. Okay, let's try and... That really sucks. We just lost two planes for absolutely no reason. Uh, I mean, I guess it happens, right? But it really sucks. Oh, come on. Come back here, you bastard. Oh, uh, not T-72. I don't think we can kill that. T-55, we can probably deal with. Needs one more shot. It's, it's hit. Come on. Ten seconds. We missed it, I think. Oh, damn. We just missed. That really sucks. Damn it. Lost those two planes there for absolutely no reason. Uh, they're down to 54 points. We could have ended it a second or 10 earlier if we hit that CV, but it just moved out of the way. Uh, we did lose a lot of uh, our planes. Take a look here. We lost uh, one Ayit, and we lost four Netzes. So, relatively a brutal battle. I mean, we did end up finishing off 3,945 points at their end. We lost 1,000, which is not necessarily the worst thing because the scenario here idea is that the enemy has a advantage of about 4.5 to 1. It just really sucks that we lost a lot of these planes. So we might even have to uh, replenish some of these for the next battle, but at the same time also afraid to do so because the enemy will obviously be able to uh, push back 
Uh, actually, no, never mind. We have enough points to just refit and just get back in there, which is awesome. So we'll actually send... Uh, let's actually just send these back in here. And we'll refit these guys, send them back in there. And uh, we'll keep these... Uh, maybe we'll actually send these Kurnases over to Tiberias to deal with their heavier tanks. So we're going to end the turn. I think we'll get our uh, reinforcements now. I don't necessarily want to fight in Tiberias. We'll uh, have, let them come to us uh, just so we can uh, kind of just relax here for a little bit. So let's end the turn. Syrians are repushing in on a full of Nazareth and obviously Tiberias. This time I actually got reinforcements. If I check the map, they got reinforcements with the 11th Artillery Company with 88 pieces of artillery from Gvadzikas to Grads, uh, more Strazales. And they actually this time got heavy, heavy artillery in the form of Uragans, Peons, and some more Strazala anti-air. So they're now up to eight Strazalas. They have another four left. So they have 12 of these anti-air uh, trucks that are actually pretty damn good when there's like four or five of them. We just found it out the hard way. But in general, we should be able to deal with them. Their aircraft here haven't really been used. But now we are forced to fight in uh, Nazareth again which is the map where we have to hold the bridges and try and stop them from coming in. Uh, take a look here. We have the 52nd Infantry Regiment, which still actually has a ton of uh, infantry here, even though they are just kind of bad infantry. They still have 98 of them. They have BMP-1 infantry, 15-man uh, strength. Uh, these are like commandos or something along those lines. They uh, are commandosi, so they got BMP-1s. Um, and uh, just a ton more tanks here. Uh, definitely more tanks than I think I can field. But it should be okay, considering uh, we can probably hold the bridges again. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually pause the video, and I'll come back right to you when I set up the defense. Okay, so we have set up a pretty decent defense, I think. We're going to hold this city with some uh, of our Shotkals, which I believe are still just Centurions and uh, servers of the Israeli army. A ton of infantry here in the city. Doing the same sort of idea here. Actually, I do need a recon vehicle. We'll just get a... Uh, a patrol because those have a very good uh, optics. We got a patrol right here to cover this side on the right. Here we have our FOB and our CV, and then here we have a ton of tanks setting up. Actually, we can rid of the CV right here. Uh, we we'll have a ton of tanks. Actually, now I'm mentioning it, I probably should get a couple of. Uh, do you have any long range infantry here? I guess we can just get some AA. Really, these are not really any different. One of them is just oh, one of them is a helicopter. One's not okay. We'll get these guys in here. Um, so this way. Hoping to cover this bridge, this bridge, this bridge, this bridge, this bridge. And then here, we are covering the bridge here, the bridge here. Any other points will go into this area or just aircraft in general. So let's freaking go. Get these guys out of here. And fast too. Get these uh, AGS, because that's basically what they are. They have like giant grenade launchers. They're actually pretty damn good, I think, at a... Uh, dealing with it with enemies at a decent range which will be pretty much what this is so here we set this up our patrol can go here with our shot calls covering the patrol first contacts are coming in and we're gonna have 20 points which obviously is a lot of points we can even get a helicopter to land realistically speaking if we wanted to uh, right here to try and uh, get some actually let's get the uh, cv helicopter to come in here and capture that from the tree line our tanks are going to be dealing with these guys it'll be relatively hard i'm sure we're going to lose some of our uh, infantry especially here in the forest but it's going to have to uh, just be whatever happens put these guys all the way back here and we're gonna have to fly over and see if there's any anti-air left that is uh, radar guided i'm not really sure i'm kind of afraid of their uh, non-radar guided aa after that last battle where we lost a ton like six or five or six aircraft just to non-radar guided AA, but we're gonna have to find out really what's happening here in the back. Oh, we got missiles coming in, which is basically what's going to really mess me up. IRE has to get the hell out of there. Please turn left, don't turn right. Okay, we did. They are rocketing the middle of the field there. Uh, could be worse, could be worse. Let's see, let's get some uh, cheaper aircraft to just bomb the city streets here. They are just SU-100s after all as these tanks are going to force a retreat a little bit. Oh, we got some B with a BMP 1K coming in here with, uh, that's going to be easy kills probably. Get you to dismount. Bombs away. Very cheap bombs. Very not, like, 
very there's nothing really to write home about but they just have a lot of issue 100s right there as you guys can see let's put this guy uh, these guys in there oh these guys in there and uh, we'll hold fire on the infantry and we'll have the helicopter just to land right here so we can take up the infantry if we need to these guys are already getting really messed up however which really sucks I don't know if we can get these Yasuers to come in here, try and save them as much as possible, get them out of here. We ha we can get them up to 15, so I mean, we can basically double their strength, which would be really nice to get them back up to like a decent amount of strength. These guys are covering right here. So I have to get our helicopter to come in and uh, basically land like right there. Hopefully it doesn't get taken out by any lucky bastards. We have BMPs coming in this time around. Like I said, the BMPs with all these special infantry, and those guys are going to be relatively hard to keep out of the city if they uh, are going to just drop their units right on top of me here. Our MiGs are flying in. They are kind of throwaway planes. They're not very expensive. They're not very accurate. They're just here to drop 500 kilogram bombs on top of these enemies and hope that it does enough damage or the BMPs have to unload their infantry. Uh, we can deal with them that way. Let's get our uh, grenade launcher guys to push forward as our Yasur is going to land and supply these uh, Gavnui. Gavnuni, sorry, pronunciation. Dealing with the infantry here, what is that? Oh, squad, no, never mind, it was a BMP, I believe. As we zoom in, it was, actually, it was a BTR-50, it looks like. All right, 40 mic mics are doing a good job. We'll actually push these 40 mic mics up as we are trying to get these Gavuni out of there. It would be nice to give them some supplies too. So resupply them. Ooh, the 40 Mike Mikes are doing a good job. Actually, a lot of firepower in them considering these are just SU-100s. As you can see, they're just being panicked. Low health. Uh, we can just bomb this bridge right here and try and get over. Oh, that sucks. It's a lot of... Uh, let's just try and bomb this back area. Hopefully it deals with what we need to deal with. Helicopter is coming in from the far right here. Uh, bombs away. That's some AA. That should be fine. They're just unradar guided. Oh, damn. Lots of bombs coming out from the MiG. Skyhawk is stressed, but the other Skyhawk gets his bombs away. Ooh, very close. Lost that plane, but we did kill two of their missile launching systems. So in the end, probably pretty worth it, I would say. We are being heavily napalmed right here. So we have to just move our guys out of the city, trying to get any sort of uh, supplies out to these guys is going to get really hard and especially while they're on fire here in the middle of these open fields. Ooh, they're losing men left, right, and center. Stop, stop, stop. Land the helicopter right there and just trying to resupply these guys as much as we can. Get this Yasur is, I think, good. As we pull these uh, ATG or AGS guys back just a tiny bit. Oh, we got a ton more stuff on this bridge, which is just stuck here right now, which actually is pretty funny. We have a ton of points available to us, however. So let's get some uh, missile rocket planes. Try and hit some of these targets more accurately. As we are moving this sewer back to try and uh, resupply very, very fast here. Oh, move away. Move in here. Rockets away. That's awesome. I think we just lost another MiG. It happens. Ooh, get away, get away, get away. It's hit. That's fine. Look at the absolute just destruction that's happening here. These guys do not care. Their AGMs or their AGSs are great. And we are dealing with a little bit of a supply convoy coming in here on the side. I think we can deal with them pretty accurately, though. We still have helicopters available, but I don't want to send the helicopters in uh, to uh, deal with their shitty, shitty AA, because it might actually do some damage I don't want them to do. Let's get the Asur to come back and resupply. Mark this up. And we have to get our uh, Milum back in there, even though they are relatively damaged. I don't think we're down to just one Yasur here. Alright, we dealt with those uh, vehicles without taking any damage. That's awesome. These guys are all still good. We did lose a couple of Shotkals right here, but... In general, they're doing, uh, I think, a pretty damn good job. Nice to get a recon helicopter to fly over here near the middle so we can get eyes on what's actually coming in and get a very cheap little plane with rockets to hit this area right there. Try and get rid of the annoying ass grads. These uh, Gavuni are being hit by more rocket strikes. 
as our Yasuers are coming back alive. Really use some... Uh, ooh, that didn't really do much. Hopefully there's no missiles there. There is not. Oh, there's a couple. Actually, there's a few. Let's bomb this, uh, let's bomb this area right here and right there. I believe they were in these buildings. So we'll have to get rid of those somehow. Land the aircraft. Not in the fire, please. T-62 coming in here on the left side. It's dead. Let's try and bomb these cities because there is definitely some infantry. Uh, there's some AA in that left side. I think we just spotted them. Bombs are out. We took another 25 points there. Is there any uh, heavier stuff? I guess we can just get snake eye bombs. There's, these rockets aren't really going to be effective though. So let's just keep bombing this little village in the back and try and take as many of their points down as possible. As we get the uh, sewer to fly back, preferably fast to deal with all of these units that are coming in via the river now as our infantry is setting up to try and are your source to get the hell out of there we are dealing with their little insertion skyhawks are bombs away i think there was a z a z or two right there which hopefully are going to get hit and 25 points those were not any hits there however we are getting a ton more tanks across the river here do we have any support that we can... Oh, we have a lot of support now. I see that. Okay, Makmat, Rokev. I don't necessarily want to waste all of my fob on um, mediocre artillery. Like, they're the actual money. or the, oh, It's not money. It's the actual, like, um, fob supplies. It's worth... Oh, I lost that MiG. God damn. Did get a good bomb off. The MiG definitely killed more points than he is worth some more rocket planes i mean we're just kind of throwing away planes but at the same time it is i think it's actually effective if you look at the pure numbers every time we lose a plane we the plane kills like two or three times its value it's probably pretty worth it I'm gonna land this unit get these infantry out no land 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 very close just in time oh it's stunned it's stunned you gotta get down you gotta get down Gotta get down to the ground. Ooh, just in time, I think. Another plane down, but the the bomb's killing more enemies than the point. The plane is worth, so it feels worth it to me still in the end. Yeah, sewer is down. Now we're gonna resupply these infantry on their. Uh, I think tanks are all good. Oh, these yeah, sewers are going down really fast because we're also resupplying these tanks. That sucks. All right, get the yeah, sewer back up in the air as we get another yeah, sewer to come back down. Hopefully it doesn't get shot down by AA. So we try to get out of here before the AA hits us. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Come on, come on. And we also know Shot Kahlo was the one that was prior right here. Move the swords back. This is actually turning into one of those like uh, transport tycoon games at this point almost, where your entire job is to make sure that your uh, cities and stuff are supplied, right? It's kind of funny to me, I guess. Oh, nice. Took them out just in time. These guys are actually going to be good. We have to deal with these with some bombing missions, as these guys are, uh, there's, they're all like, they're all the second highest, I believe they were elite or hard, sorry, hardened, or veteran. I have to bomb these ATGM infantry, because they're going to be really annoying otherwise, but that should be decent bombs, two down two of those, and we can probably intercept the next one right there. Oh, you gotta land, you gotta land, you gotta land, oh, missed us, thank god. These infantry here are doing okay. Grenade launchers could use some uh, supplies, as you guys can see there. Let's repair you. The fob is still doing relatively okay. All right, this Yasuer has to get out of there again. We are trying to deal with their AA at the moment. There's a ton of it on the bridge. Let's be nice to hit this with everything we got. Right, just right there. Try and get this Yasuer to come back to base. Nice! Oh, you're gonna get shot down though, aren't you? Oh, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, the yeah, sewer's gotta get away. There's definitely some sort of vehicle here in the water. There might just be BTR 50s or something light, but they are messing up the infantry. This unit has to retreat, has to re uh, be repair or replaced by these Milium who have shorter range missiles. These Millium just de totally destroyed the naval uh, insertion here, or the uh, amphibious insertion, I guess I should call it, because that's more like what it is. 
So we dealt with those guys. Milium can deal with these BTRs. Also, actually, the AGSs are the Mark 40. The Mark 19s are actually dealing with these guys just perfectly fine as they are. So we should be good. They're now heavily hitting me with uh, return fire from Mark 19s. Land this helicopter. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, no, I said quack. Quick, land it in the tree line. Next to the trees. Come on. Land it anywhere, really. Land it. Land it. I think we're safe. Okay. Resupplying our infantry here. And uh, it'd be nice to get some extra guys. It's mainly about the ammo at this point, too, because we just need to like resist with the ammo that we got. Their ammo is getting resupplied. Helicopter didn't get hit. And those guys are almost back up to full, which is awesome. Just gonna keep actually it might be even better to just get some trucks at this point, I think. If I just get like four like a, a set of eight Rios that come in from the flank, they probably should be okay. We've got a ton of points available to us right now. Actually, you know what? I totally forgot to do this. Hit that area with our uh hit this area with our rock heads. There's eight of them. Should do a ton of just uh damage to piss them off at the very least, because they're stuck on this bridge. Look at that, they're just absolutely um, just a massacre. There's no other word for this like area. What happened here on the bridge? That's brutal. We are getting our rounds out, and it's a second. There's two. There's four. There's six. There's uh, seven, and there's eight. And now we're just gonna hammer them with our 105 or uh, 155. Sorry. Hopefully, saving our infantry in this village as our Picuds or Rios are on the way. Right, artillery should be doing a lot of damage right there. We can even get some heavy mortars and 160 mils to come in here as well and try and do more and more damage. Gavuni. Gavuni, it might be time for you to retreat out of there. Nice, he's down. Artillery is doing a lot of damage right there. ATGM's coming in. Barely a miss. That's good though. Still hitting this bridge with 155s. Oof, that was a good hit. And uh, there's nothing stopping me from just hitting it again. We got five minutes left. I got a thousand, just over a thousand points left for uh, to try and stop us. These trucks should be able to resupply them. We can, however, land our helicopters in this zone. They should be able to resupply the trucks. Oh, they're getting shot at a little bit. Gavuni, could push back into the town. All right, come on. Nice, get okay, pushed back in. As our Rios are actually, I think they're actually in a good shape. I don't even need to resupply all of these guys. We can just land this helicopter here again. And these Rios can probably, these Rios can probably resupply here back at the FOB. Artillery are still firing. Get the Yasur to just land it right here. Just so we can sort of cover the infantry that do need to resupply anything. And that bridge just turned into an absolute death zone for anyone. And we can probably just keep hitting them here. Is our recon still up? It is. Let's try and put it up forward a little bit so we can try and get some more eyes on. Our AGS. I keep going on AGS because it's a Mark 19, but it's the same idea. Our Mark 19 slash AGS is just hitting them hard here on the bridge. Look at that. 105s. You got the 160s or, uh, yeah, 160 mils hitting them out as well. This is turning into an absolute blood fest, and there's not much that they have to really withstand us here. I think they do have some, uh, some planes, but they're just not sending them out. Our Milium. Changes over just for one second so we can resupply those guys and then, uh, yeah, we are good. It's getting some ammo. Our Yasuer is in a good position. Change altitude on the Siphon so we can see some further. And these guys need to move into this position there. I think our Yasuer can actually land right here as we take this one back to our FOB. Stop these trucks. They should be getting uh, themselves resupplied right now. It might be the end of our fob though, but at least our Gavuni will be able to now take out some of these Vicks in the water. And wow, look at that! Just the Mark 19 power! You're just shooting like 15 rounds every time they fire, which is absolutely brutal. 
probably push our infantry in this village a little bit further towards the bridge actually now thinking about it as we push these guys in here and they're going to just start letting loose with the mark 19 they got four of them there's probably not much the enemies can do. If they do get hit heavily, I could pull them back a little bit, which will probably have to happen here in just a little bit. They're getting hit pretty hard actually already. Oh, they just took out that uh, recon. That sucks. Let's push these guys back now. They just turned elite. Which means it's going to get the, uh, the Rios up front instead of the uh, helicopters. Put them in here. Deal with their Strelas. Oh, that was a good hit. Another one, missile away. There we go. Pull these back fast. And uh, we're just doing damage to them here by just constantly hitting them with units, getting the guys back, helicopters flying back, new reinforcements, and uh, just doing tons and tons of damage. I would actually wouldn't mind switching these two around real quick because they'll probably get some more rockets off on the corner here. And I don't even need to use my um, I don't even need to use my planes anymore. I just realized I can just constantly use the artillery that I got back here. I hammered them into submission, and they're just taking points and up on points, up on points of damage. Eighty gems are actually I guess they are eighty gems realistically speaking. So they are doing a lot of damage. Okay, BTR, they're down. They got two minutes left. <laughs> we are just. Absolutely hammering them. There's nothing they can do. Look at the bridge. The bridge just turned into an absolute like It's not even a, like it's just brutal. Look at this bridge. There's no way you can get across anymore here The left bridge is probably not as bad at all But it's still a like, pretty much of a murder zone and then over here all of the, uh, the AGS the mark 19 impacts they are very obvious to see there on the other coast uh, the other uh, I guess the other river bank so it is very obvious to see here that our artillery and our Mark 19s have held the day. We're going to just keep firing at that edge of the bridge as we try and save any infantry we have left here in the city. Our Rios are doing awesome, and we can probably push these Gavuni and Messiahite. I can't pronounce that. Push them further in. And our, our Rios can uh, fall back one more time for the last 40 seconds of the game. So we're trying to take out a lot more that we can. More infantry going down. These guys are now all elite level. The Gavuni have two elites. Uh, one elite, two elites here. We got uh, even our um, Miliyum, which are just... I guess they are nothing really specifically. They're just like recruit militia level infantry are doing an awesome job holding these cities tight. And every time they come and dare to come into our range... We just have these shitty little missiles that will destroy them anyway. So there we go. We got eight seconds left. Artillery pounding the bridge in case anyone wants to try and come across the bridge. Did we can take out one more thing before the end of the battle? No, but we did only lose, I think, two or three planes. Let's take a look at our losses. Uh, da, 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 that's a lot of stuff to scroll by. Uh, we lost a MiG, a Skyhawk, a MiG, and a Skyhawk. So they weren't really anything to write home about in the... Uh, in, I guess, the first place. And we only lost 500 points to their... What is it? To their uh, almost 4,000. But you can see that I only have a third of their combat power. So us holding the ground here was very important. With that being said, I think um, I'm going to do one more battle. So I'm going to pause it right here. And then we'll come right back to you. All right. So uh, I might have taken a look right before the battle started at their uh, tank tab. And I realized two things. What are actually their composition? They have no aircraft, but they have about 50 Strezala or Strela-like vehicles. And they have 128, 128 T-34-85 tanks. Now, luckily, I believe that my uh, 20 millimeter Vulcan cannons on these uh, Tsezevas or Cobras can deal with them. The Strelas are going to be a whole other issue because one or two I can deal with. But the second they have, like... Quite literally a couple hundred of them, well not hundred, but they quite literally have dozens and dozens and dozens of them. It is going to be really hard to try and deal with those guys without losing tons and tons and tons of my aircraft. So we're going to have to basically set up uh, mortars to try and deal with, uh, with this uh, just annoyance of anti-air because that's the only thing we can really deal with them. Uh, our tanks are going to be heavily outnumbered. I think we only have, uh, if you count our M4 Shermans or M51 Shermans, I believe we only have about um, 
14, 15 tanks. They have about 150 in total. So we have to see how this one works out for us. Put our guys in the uh, zones right here. And uh, we'll actually have to get a CV um, back here. All right, two gems are coming out there. Two gems are coming out. It's just a little Jeep though, so it's not like it has a lot of uh, survivability. Nope. Well, these Jeeps are doing their job. They're at least pissing them off. Because now our job will just be to hit these Jeeps with our ATGM or these uh, little Vicks with our ATGMs and artillery. But we're also losing our Jeeps left, right, and center. There's just too much stuff in here. I just had a range of my artillery. That sucks. All right, these Jeeps are now uh, considered to be useless because they're out of ammo. Let's get them out of here. As we're going to try and just hold the line, but this might be a lot harder than I thought. Uh, helicopters. Uh, let's get these helicopters to come here ASAP. There's a lot of T-34 85s, as you can see. That's just getting ridiculous. There's not much I can do here. Our Shermans are uh, going to be pretty much an equal bet considering they're the same points, but other than that, this is going to get really, really brutal real fast. Luckily, we have some Milium. Oh, they're already getting absolutely just demolished by everything that they got. Now, the only thing here I can do is try and sacrifice a, a Nets or two to hit this bridge while they're all on there. There's no guarantee that these guys are going to live. They're just going to be pretty much a one-way turn. Unless there isn't a lot of Stazalas, which there might not be. This might be a really, really effective run. Oh, oh god, that was brutal. They're getting destroyed. It just lost a ton of tanks. The bridge is now becoming impassable. And, uh, oh, that's three. Uh, oh, look at that. There's three coming out. Hopefully they didn't take out. Okay, they took out one Nets. But we took out so many points worth of vehicles there. But... My god, this is going to get really, really brutal really, really fast. We need to pull our uh, APCs or our artillery back because they're definitely going to be in danger of being overrun as we now have to start putting our infantry into this uh, village right here to try and just hold on with whatever we got. Don't want the uh, Balzac infantry, uh, as I uh, lovingly refer to them as. We're going to have to just hold this city here and try that we can uh, see that you can somehow hold it down, which is going to be relatively brutal. They have a ton of artillery rockets. We can't really deal with their Strazales. I believe the actual range of Strazales is 2400. What's the range on the ATGMs right here? 2600. So we technically could use these Lahatut tow missiles. Uh, we would have to be very, very dangerous or very, very careful that we don't get too close to them, though. So let's try and set up the Lahatut. And the second these Trazalas move, I have to move my own guys or they're going to get just smashed. All right, let's get the uh, artillery to start hitting this. As the Laha Tut has to be very, very careful because there's only a 200 meter discrepancy between our range and their range. But as long as they're not moving, they're good. All right, missile away. One down. Next up. Missile away. So it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. Oh, and toe guided missed. Now we have to watch out because we can't have eyes on them anymore. Okay, they're moving away. Never mind, we're good. Did spot a CV in there. That'd be a really good kill if we could get that out there. But there is so much, so much stuff coming our way here. That we just have to keep our mortars to hit this area. Try to suppress whatever's coming our way. These Mulyuma are running out of infantry, out of missiles really, really fast. Lahatut has to come back and land as we are now getting down to uh basically we have lost the first area we're going to just set up oh there is some aa still there i'm not sure what it was oh it's an afghanski that's hitting us with the little uh, ap zpus gotta get you out of there gotta get you out of there milium are out of rockets here in just a second if only there was a way to surrender but there's not these guys are uh, basically goners at this point, we have to just pull them out. Ooh, they just lost like 10 members in that one round. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Da -da -da -da. We got it. All right, we made it into the next building. But we are out of any sort of uh, any sort of rockets. We are just trying to hit their Srizala now, their infantry with missiles, uh, as we're trying to get, basically trying to deal with their infantry and tanks pushing into the city. 
really hope that we can try and deal with this Jaguar. We're also getting shot in the side by ATGMs here on the Shermans. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Damn, can't really do much about that. Lao Toot, get up! Oh, we are getting shot at by their concourse now. We gotta kill this concourse before it gets another missile off. Missed! Why did you miss? Fire fast! Go, go, go! Ooh. Oh, we lost one of our uh, tanks. Dirt. Missed again. Our milium are a lost cause. As long as they can kill the infantry, that'd be good. But I don't know if it's gonna hit. This one, this Lahuto is just missing all the shots it needs to have. And it missed again. Land it. To get our tanks to... Actually, do we have any vehicles? I think we have a ton of these ATGMs. So we'll have to get these forward. And we have giraffe toes. Which actually are really decent at longer range. Uh, let's get a recon helicopter out here. Get some more trailblazers to set up on these corners. As we are also deploying our infantry again. And this is more of a Final Stand-esque idea here that's happening right now. As we're just trying to, well, get our guys to come into the city. Uh, we got those guys set up. Alright. Lahut is hitting targets to take off again now, though. You gotta take out those ATGMs before they get too close. Middle is okay. Spotted a T-55 CV. Oh, good hit, but is it going to get a kill? Is it already going to get a kill? What it? Nice. That's a CV down. And uh, thank God I don't have any air tap to really mess with us here, but that would just be absolutely brutal. Hit in the ass. Just survived. Let's get this thing back to our other fob because we're getting super... Ooh, we're going to get destroyed right now. They just are going to shoot us into flank here. Got to get these jeeps to open fire with AT gems. Kill the Jaguars. That's a hit, not a kill. We really need to get right on top of these uh, recon or ATGM vehicles before they destroy all of us. As our giraffe toes are now pushing into the area. And we're actually going to have to Q move them in. Land you here. Got some Lahutut, Lahatut toes. Our giraffes are engaging with so many AT gems, and I think these are actually pretty good. They have 50% accuracy, 15 power, and 2600 meter range. We're just going to keep these bastard BMPs out of our range, though, the little trucks. Uh, we do have a Turan Blazer or two that are being hit. Lahatuts are firing, wasting a lot of missiles on one BMP, but as long as we take them down, I think it's actually a pretty fair game as we now try and hold our ground. Oof. Jaguars down. Those are the ones that are the expensive ones. If we can kill those every time, I'd be really happy with that. As we now have to uh, push this little jeep all the way back to our base. And the same goes for the other one, as we're just going to try and save these guys. Uh, other jeep, let's go. And let's keep these guys in the air for now. They don't have any missiles left, but that's fine. We're just destroying them from the flank here, but it's not really worth using one missile on... Are using three misses on a T-34, but I mean, as long as they kill stuff, then it's fair, I suppose. These guys have to get back to the fob here as we uh, replenish them. Take another T-34 down, and we're also dealing with more T-34s over here. Actually, dismiss, but that's fine, as long as you get the shots off. All right, these guys um, land back here. Hunter down to 1,400 points, which I think is a good thing. Well, we'll need, we will need to replenish most of these, however. Position them this way. Trying to hold ground. They are just getting... I'm letting them have this uh, Tuaraba sector because it would be nigh impossible to really hold it with what we got at the moment, especially considering they have so many Strazalas and everything involved on that side. Uh, if these guys are in range of anything, it would be good to get these artillery firing again on uh, anything, really. The Strazalas are good targets. Gokurs is a miss. Come on. Come on. Nice. That's a kill. That's a kill. Artilleries are firing at the Strazala. T-34, 85, and a miss from the toe. Let's land it behind the fob here when it's fired its last round. That was a hit, not a kill. It's down to two bars of health. 
We are hurting them with everything we got. Trying to keep around. So we're also losing uh, ground down here. We gotta get. Oh, never mind. We're. I think we're okay. Let's land these toes. So we're getting these supplied. We are losing our fob relatively fast. I should not have put this fob up this far ahead. I probably should have realized it was going to be a bad spot, but I didn't realize it. So This bush right here is going to be our saving grace. They are sending so much more stuff up, though. Look at this. What the hell? There's so much more stuff coming. Hitting this bridge. Oh, we're losing this side here. I'm going to have to set up a, like a tertiary defense if I can uh, get them to come in from here. We'll set them up in this tree line here with a blazer. And then we're going to just have to hold the line. They are pushing with something. Why is it not dead? Come on. There we go. That was ridiculous. Get my toe up. Actually, let's get my toe up here. That looks like a good target to kill that CV. Hopefully you can hold your fire. Nice! Ooh, that, that saved himself just in time. That Turan. Hold fire, you gotta just get two missiles away, or save two missiles. For this uh, BMP. It's on the move, it might not hit it. Nope, got one rocket left, don't mess this one up. Oh, you did not kill it, though. Oh, they are coming close here. They're basically right on top of me. I gotta start watching out. Push these up here. Put the giraffes in there. And uh, try and hold ground as we push our stuff back. And this is going to get really brutal. We need to land our guys here near the FOB. FOB has been lost to the enemy. I mean, that's fine. That was going to happen either way. Let's try and move these trucks back a little bit further so they don't get accidentally destroyed. And uh, we are in all sorts of big trouble right here. I can't believe we lost that fob. Trailblazer is holding on. These guys are holding on. The toes are, I think, doing just fine. They're going to get some good targets here, though. They're going to get some good shots on. And... Oof. Side hit. One health left. Other toes are opening fire, too. They're down to just, just 800 points. We're about to lose our BTR here, though. This is a bad day. Bad day. Bad day. Nope, wasn't going to get away ever. Let's get this Nets out of there before it gets hit. Afghanski are right here. Uh, let's destroy this fob if we can. And it's not our fob anymore, so who really cares, am I right? It would be nice to just bomb this into... Uh, I don't know if... I actually don't know if fobs can take damage from clusters. Let's hope so. They... Do not. Okay, we'll have uh, them hit the fob with that. As we are now trying to try and push back some of these units, we have to push these uh, guys very quickly, I, may I add, into uh, this area right here. Try and just hold the line. There we go. The CV should probably move here. And these toes are getting low on health. Let's get a Yasur. Actually, let's not get the Yasur. Let's get these toes back here to try and replenish. Oh, they're pushing into the village here. We got Rovati now. Or Ravait trying to engage the T-34s that are coming into our area. Their numbers are starting to really count towards them in their favor. Luckily, we do have... Uh, we can rely on a lot of good tow missiles, but... This is going to be... Um, there's going to be a hard couple of last minutes, as you can see. They are pushing very, very aggressively. To the point where we have to watch out for our Lahuts, because they are pushing in with system from the north here. 
push ball. Oh, don't. Ah, damn it! Bastards, man. Absolute bastards. So we can take out those Trizalas. Oh, misclicked. I'm just trying to get these guys up here as fast as possible. They need. We need more toes, I think. Is there any more left? There's actually quite a few left, so we'll just put those in here and hope that they can engage. There is a lot of stuff coming, and we don't have a lot of time. Four minutes to try and hold this down. Just going to try and take out some of their important stuff here. I see a CV. That's a suicide mission. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Their concours are getting hit, but they're not getting killed. Oh, that wasn't even anyone near. Infantry are engaging. We gotta split these around and start getting a, a sewer here now. As we need just a ton of... Res of, of oh, we get, never mind. We took out that uh, eight tow infantry unit. These guys are going to be low on missiles here. Replenish their missiles with other men. Replace, replace, replace. Go, go, go. Afghanski are going to hurt us if we don't get... Oh, get out, get out, get out. Dealing with our infantry there. Uh, let's drive them all the way down there. Try and save those units. Concours are engaging us. Alright, good. They captured Delta there, obviously. Oh, let's hope this missile takes him out. Got him. The fob. Very. Oh, wait, was it the time? Oh, we actually killed the enemy. We got enough points worth of stuff, but I mean, they pushed us back hard. We almost lost a thousand points ourselves, but thank God, I believe that might be their uh, their final turn there. So we're going to do, we're going to come back to you in the next episode with the battle for, for Tiberius. And then I think the next turn, we'll actually have our reinforcements come in from the Mediterranean Sea. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's awesome. Cheers.